In today's video, how to figure out how many calories you need to be eating to build muscle and lose fat. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, we're going to break down how to figure out your calorie intake based on your goals. And today's video comes from right here on my Instagram direct message. So go ahead and follow along, send me your DMs, and uh, we'll get those questions answered as best we can. And if you like this type of information, I'm going to explain kind of the evidence-based approach to nutrition and training and how to reach all your physique goals. Hit subscribe. It's what I love to do here. Subscribe and makes my day. And today's video is something that I've done many times. And I think people that watch my channel will start to notice a theme. I tend to repeat topics, but the goal with repeating my topics is I'm making these videos better as we go. Okay. So I'm trying to put out more information, better information. And so today's video is going to be about two ways that I feel are the most effective ways to figure out your calorie needs based on the question that I got. Hey Paul, I'm Emmanuel, I'm 5'7 and 170 pounds in weights. I wanna build muscle, lose weight in the process, but I'm having a hard time knowing my calorie intake. And so I wanna give you guys a couple different options for when it comes to figuring out your calorie intake. So the first one, if you have no information, you don't even know where to start and you just wanna figure something out, on my website, prophysique.com, I actually have a calorie calculator where you can go plug in some information and it's gonna give you right there on the screen, bang, a bunch of numbers that are gonna estimate you know, where you should be depending on your goals, losing fat, building muscle. Now, the real value with these calculators is not that they are going to be highly accurate. Sometimes they may be bang on, sometimes they may be high or low. But what I really wanted to do is give you guys a calorie range for where you should be. Now you also mentioned that your your goal is to build muscle during this process. Well, the most important thing when it comes to building muscle is going to be your protein intake because you don't want to waste your effort in the gym. That's right, you're going to have to lift some weights to put on that muscle, but it sounds like that's your goal. So I'm gonna assume that you're getting in there, getting after it, and if you need a free workout program, a uh, free like beginner's guide to training, I have that on, on prophysique.com as well. Uh, it's completely free, I'll link it below. But for you, what I'd like you to do, based on what you told me, is set your protein at a gram per pound. You sound like you're a fairly lean guy, and it's not gonna hurt to have a little bit of extra protein in there. Then you can take your calories that were given to you by the calculator, and you can say, you know what, I'm gonna divide up those calories between fats and carbs, because really the ultimate measure of success for someone that wants to put on muscle and lose body fat is that each week you notice that you're changing, your body composition is changing. And so if you're putting on muscle at the same time you're losing body fat, well, how does that look? The scale might be the same every week. So it's important to do pictures. It's also gonna be important to take some measurements. Take a waist measurement. That's the one measurement where you're not gonna put on any muscle on your waist you can only gain or lose body fat there, right? And it's a good way to go, you know, I notice that I look better, and if the scale is not moving, well, sometimes that waist will be a really good indicator. In fact, if the scale is not moving and the waist is going down, that's a nice indicator that you're improving your body composition, you're recomping a little bit, and you're putting on some muscle during this process. The other method, and the method that I use with my clients, because to work as a coach, I need real world data. I would love to say, hey, I can help you out and here's your numbers from a calculator, but my success would be miserable with that method. You know, what you're gonna do with the calculator is you're gonna take those numbers and you're gonna experiment and you're gonna spend, say, a week eating like that and you may gain or lose weight based on that, but if you want a much more tried and true method, simply go on your phone and download an app like MyFitnessPal, like my macros plus, maybe my net diary. I'm sure there's some other ones out there. And what these allow you to do is simply track what you eat. You simply look at the numbers of what you've been eating for several days, as long as a week. And if your weight is stable, you can then take the average calorie intake that you've been taking in. And there may be some huge fluctuations in there, but this is really the best true test because our bodies are very good at knowing how much energy we need. You'll find that you're hungry on some days, maybe because you were a little more active, and maybe you're a little less hungry on other days, maybe because you ate more the day before or you were less active. So we have an internal system which allows us to know how many calories we should be taking in every day without actually tracking. However, if you wanna be a person who has an elite physique, is able to perform in the gym at low body fat, you're gonna have to have 
some accountability going on. And so tracking for a full week, you can really get a sense of, hey, I'm taking in 3,000 calories, but you know what? I'm only getting 50 grams of protein a day and I'm getting 200 grams of fat. Swap those numbers around. You can actually start to look at the ratios because ultimately what we need to do is find what works for you, okay? That's really the only true test. Find the foods that work for you, find a diet approach that works for you, and be accountable. And so these are the methods that I use as a coach. These are the methods that I use in my free eBooks. If you guys are interested, I am doing a 90 day transformation challenge. The entries will start on Monday. All the information will be going out. There'll be a two week registration period. All the rules will be explained. Email sam at prophysique.com to get all that information. And it's gonna be live on prophysique.com on Monday. Now, once you've figured out the calories that you're eating and then you need to figure out a way to lose body fat, right? The same time you're building muscle, you're losing body fat. Well, it's generally gonna involve creating a nice energy deficit, okay? That means you figure out how many calories you're taking in. You either gotta start moving more or you gotta start eating less, okay? If you can figure out a way to combine those two, if you wanna do some cardio, and you wanna burn some cardio calories and you wanna eat a few less calories, I find a combination of the two works best. Try to start off with a three to 500 calorie deficit per day. Let that last over an entire week. See how your body responds. If you find you're not losing weight or you're not feeling leaner, well, maybe you make an adjustment. Maybe you bump up the cardio a little bit. But remember, when it comes to this approach, start small with the cardio. Start with 10 to 20 minutes, three to five days a week, right? and then go up from there. You wanna lose weight on the most calories and the least activity possible. This way we run into the fewest plateaus. If you want a crash diet, that's a completely different approach. But you said build muscle, lose fat. So let's do that. All right guys, that's gonna be it for me today. You guys have a great Thursday and I'll talk to you tomorrow.